Hi, Brad Autry, Marquette University Basketball. Going to do a little chalk talk this afternoon about ball screens. At every level, people have to understand defensively how they're going to handle ball screens. And a ton of what happens within ball screens defensively involves communication. Everybody being on the same page and understanding how they're particularly going to attack a certain type of player, a certain type of action. There's four basic things that you can do. You can switch a ball screen, and oftentimes this is really effective if you have a lot of players that are generally alike and you don't necessarily have a, a big post player uh, setting a, uh, uh, or handling a ball screen with a smaller guard because you won't get a mismatch. If you've got a lot of like players and it doesn't really matter who's guarding who, this may be the most effective thing that you can do. You can trap a ball screen, which is, at, which is the most aggressive approach to a ball screen. And throughout my career, I've seen people use that very effectively. Two things I'm going to concentrate right now are what we call hedging over and, and uh, pushing under. So let's say we're in, a he we're in a hedging over. What does hedge mean? Well, hedge means we want this defensive player, as this screen's being set, bump, 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 and push him out. And now we want him to be at a 90-degree angle and force this this dribbler to do one of three things. We want him to do, to either pick the ball up, we want him to change directions, or we want him to directly run into this man right here who's a hard hedge and over. We talk to our guys a ton about being on top of the ball screen and showing your numbers to the dribbler. Because if you're showing your numbers to the dribbler, you're in a good position to make him do one of those three things. If he's guarding right here, and we're saying, okay, the man who's setting the screen right now is going to be just as effective. We may do what we call pushing under, pushing under. So now when the screen comes, we're still being incredibly physical within the framework of the rules to try to push that screen as high as possible. This is not an effective defense when the ball is below the three-point line. You have to get a body and you have to push them up. Now, as soon as... The screen begins being set. We want our guys showing hands. That's really critical. Show your hands and bump, 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 and push. Now, as this man is coming off this screen, if we've done a good job bumping and pushing, then we're allowing our, the man who's guarding the ball to go under that screen, basically two removed. But if you bumped well, then we're able to recover back at the same level as the dribbler here. Now, what does this do for you in terms of other aspects? Well, if this is a really good player, if this is a Lazar Hayward, and he's going to set this screen and he's going to pop here, or he's going to try to get some action to the rim, well, you're bodied up and now you're under, and now he doesn't have the opportunity to do that. When I'm talking about showing hands, and I'm saying don't allow people to put the screen in a position or a scoring position low enough, it, it can't be here. It can't be here. That's a call. We tell our guys to be big and physical and show hands. Obviously bumping guys off a line as they're going to set a screen. There's nothing in the rules that says we have to allow an offensive man to go set a screen exactly where he wants to. Because if I just allow him to go set it where he wants, I'm putting the guy who's guarding the ball in a really bad position. So I've got to be in good defensive position, down ready, bumping off, bumping off. If we're in a hedging over. If we're in a hedging over and Logan's setting the screen on the dribbler, I want to be at a 90 degree angle right here, or parallel I guess, excuse me, geometry, it's important. I want to be parallel right here, but I want to be in contact and I want to be showing my numbers to the dribbler. One of three things has to happen. Run me over and it's a charge. Change direction away from our basket, away from our basket, or panic and pick the ball up and we're in good shape. But I have to be here. I can't be here and be flat. It's ineffective. It's no good. It puts everybody in a bad position. I've got to be up, and I've got to be on top early, early, early. Make him go that way. Show him you're here. And now as you show, slide, slide, allowing the guy who's guarding the dribbler right here. Drop a little bit, Logan. Who's guarding the dribbler, push him off. Get over the top. Be strong through. Bust your arm and your hand through. Be over. Now we've pushed him up, and now I'm recovering, and we're recovering back. So decide what you're going to do, and then be really good at it. Because ball screen defense is maybe the most important thing that you have to deal with as a defensive team.